hello so we have reached Mitchellstown cave parking so it's like I'm gonna give you a view of the place um, and I don't think there are quite a lot of visitors today but yeah so we'll show you more as we go up welcome back to my fourth vlog yes as shown in the introduction we are going to Mitchellstown cave and I'm gonna show you a few of the countryside views while we were driving from our home all the way to Mitchellstown So yes, we walk all the way uphill for 5 minutes and you need to purchase the tickets from this ticket counter and then just keep walking. So yeah, we have reached almost there and the view from here is amazing and i'll tell you a while why is it so so today is january january 14 2023 and it's really cold my hands are freezing but i wanted to show you this view don't know if you can capture it in the camera but yeah there is quite a lot of snow over those mountains we'll do a drive there later today if we can that's temporary mountains so yeah we are almost there and we have a waiting of 10 minutes right so we have to wait for 10 minutes and then go into the cave and it's a 40 minutes tour i'll capture as much as i can yes so a little bit of meal for you so by the way this is a private property and you have to ring in to get an appointment and they only do guided tours so that's all that's how it sounds to be inside a cave sounds amazing or no the pillar-like structure that you see, some of them are hanging from the ceiling of the cave, some are from the ground. They are called stalagmites and stalactites. They are the artwork of nature. The structures that you see inside the cave, it took thousands of years to form in that way, especially those pillar-like structures you see there. And uh, the tour guide, uh, she explained as extensively well scientifically also how these structures were formed also 
uh, one of the seasons of Vikings were shot inside this particular place. So yeah, it's a place for celebrities as well. The cave is quite deep, but the tour program is not designed to go that far down. According to the tour guide, going down further into the cave is for the professionals um, and it won't be suitable for all age groups. That's why they have chosen the area which is safe for people of all type to view and enjoy. A river flew through these spaces thousands of years ago and that's how these beautiful structures and shapes were formed. We were even able to see fossils of some animals engraved on those rocks. Um, the tour guide also told us that the, the, the cave is now stabilized and there has been no rock fall for a very long time. Not recorded at all. So it's pretty safe to go in. And there is also a seismometer installed inside it to measure any further earthquakes. There are some haunted stories about this cave, but it's just a story. So, don't worry, you are in safe hands while you are there. The last time I came here, they actually turned off the lights for a few seconds just to experience how dark the cave can be just to give us an imagination of how would it look if we were in a cave and that was a little terrifying when the lights go down there are around 88 steps that we need to climb to come out of the cave and we are almost on the last lap of it so is this video so stay tuned for the next one and enjoy bye bye